Anong sa'yo? Hellscape Crux And today we'll be reacting to Artemis' um, first full album Doll, Divine Live and Love um, So over late reaction I was really busy last week And had to react to um, other um, albums as well But yeah Today we'll be reacting to yeah, uh, Artemis' debut album And this will be a different album reaction Because I will not react to all the songs but I will only react to the new songs in their album So it's going to be a short album reaction So we're only going to react to Virtual Angel um, Sparkle Hitch The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Flow, uh, not, not Flower Rhythm um, Unfair Distress Butterfly Effect And their intro song which is URL I will not react to um, Flower Rhythm, Candy Crush, Air, and Birth um, because I've already reacted to the music videos if you guys haven't seen that yet I will put it in the description but yeah um, really excited to hear all the, all the other songs in Artemis' debut album because I'm an Ori and yeah I'm just really excited to hear their music <laughs> alright so let's react first to URL which is Artemis' um, intro song in the album. Alright, so. Yeah, this is only one minute. Uh, one minute for the intro song for Artemis URL. Okay. Ooh, Kim Lip doing the intro. Oh, they're singing in English. I'm not sure your senses wait for me. Almost there. Ooh. So this is like you know an intro song to Virtual Angel. Oh, the drums. It sounds really funky, the intro song, man. You can hear the guitar, the keys as well. Oh. Ooh, man, that was so good. <laughs> it's just an instrumental, pretty much, for Artemis' um, debut album. Oh, we did hear Kim Lip at the beginning, though. Yeah. Yeah, that was um, Artemis URL, and um, I'm not gonna rate this song because it's just an intro song for Artemis, and it's purely just instrument instrumental. Sorry, yeah, it's just instrumental, but still a really good intro for Artemis debut album, and it ties in with Virtual Angel as well. So, I think there is a connection to this um, intro song to Virtual Angel, and. Also, um, shout out to Che Riv as well for the lyric videos, Dal Mood. Um, yeah. All right, so now let's react to the to their title track, um, Virtual Angel. I really want to hear the recording for, for the song as well, because I've already seen the music video twice already. Um, the original version and the Human Eye version, but we're gonna listen to the actual recording for Virtual Angel. Uh, and I want to see if there's a difference between the um, original recording in the album and the music video itself, right? Virtual Angel. Oh, I really love the intro of this song, man. I'll be there for you when your wings break Letting go of you, that's a heartbreak yeah, It's the same line distribution of the music video, right? Also did Kim Lip <laughs> And Heejin Jin Soul Cherry in the pre chorus. Oh, 
다른 모든 내 맘에 새로 피어난 것들과 I really love Jin Souls of vocals, man. So I love all their voices, man. But yeah, I know Jin Souls my bias, so that's why I'm gonna be praising their vocals. And also, he Jin bias record. Hustle has really caught my attention too. She has a really beautiful tone. He Jin, Cherry. Better now, super now. Oh, oh, oh. I'll be there for you when your wings break. Letting go of you, that's a heartbreak. Never miss a European and Gunther Here we go, hustle sad lips man. Oh, no touch is my sad game. They're talking about Eden as well, man. Oh. Oh, it's my Eden. Because at the beginning they were talking about Angel, now they're talking about Eden. Yeah, that was a Virtual Angel by Artemis. Um, there's no difference actually with the music video, um, but yeah, the song is just really incredible. Um, I just really love, you know, the, the genre for Virtual Angel. It's a really unique um, title track from Artemis. Um, of course, it does remind you of Luna because of the members, but I still think that it's a really um, unique title track. And yeah, it's pretty much um, Artemis' original sound, man. And you will hear it. In, you will hear it in Virtual Angel. It's very angelic as well, because that's the title of the song. It's Virtual Angel. It's angelic. It's ethereal. Yeah, that's how to describe the song. Ethereal, angelic, um, dreamy as well, yeah. Only Artemis can pull off this, you know, type of uh, song as well. Alright, and Virtual Angel, it's it's a 10 out of 10. I already, you know, gave, gave a rating on this song, on, on, the, on my MV reaction. Yeah, Virtual Angel is a 10 out of 10 for me. Alright, now we're going to react to one of their songs in the album. One of the new songs in the album, which is Sparkle. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Sparkle. All right. Oh, the bass. Do -do. The moon will rise to <laughs> reference to Luna, man. Ooh. Ooh, a low note from Jinso. Sparkle. Circle. Oh, die circle? I love those lyrics in the song, man. Circle, sparkle, motion, Atten attention, emotion. Sparkle, 
Mr. Christmas and Circle, Mummy song is Circle. Merry go round time. My, my, my. Oh, I love the effects on those vocals as well, man. Okay, that was um, Artemis Sparkle, and this was a really good B-side, man. Um, I love the repetition on the chorus as well. Sparkle, sparkle, motion. Before why we were ranked each other, so got to the galaxy already. <laughs> yeah, um, Sparkle. It's, it's just a really good uh, B-side from Artemis. So I'll give it a ten out of ten. I love it. I love it. Um, Alright, let's run now to the next song, which is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Way too far to reach my star, good or get some round and round again. Starts off really slowly, man. What is that instrument, man? Twelve constellations of unknown origin. Oh, the other rock runs again. This album is really Luna Coded, man. Artemis, no. Fly me to the moon, but Jinso. Woo! Take me, take me. Beyond the mountain sky galaxy, a distinctly more audible signal. After 12 months and nights of unknown limits, why is there so many Luna references in this album besides man? Chorus sounds incredible, man. Probably my favorite B-side so far, man. Oh, Luna's, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I said Luna this time, man. Artemis. <laughs> my favorite B-side so far from Artemis' debut album. Watching my star. Round and round again. Today there are two moons. I might come to my now ready fly me to the moon. It's like a hyper pop song, man. It sounds insane. Oh, 
All right, that was Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I feel like I went to the galaxy after um, listening to the song, man. Literally, um, Artemis brought me to the moon, brought me to the galaxy while listening to the song. This song is just absolutely insane, um, and I love it, man. It's an incredible B-side as well from um, Artemis. Probably my favorite B-side so far, man, because of its um, uniqueness. Um, the effects on the song, the vocals are just immaculate. That's how I can. That's how to. Uh, that's how to describe it. It's immaculate. It's just out of this world, man. Um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and I love the lunar references as well. Twelve moons, twelve months. It's a reference to Luna. Twelve members. All right. So yeah, I'm sure all the orbits and the Ories will love this song as well. But yeah, um, that was Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And I will give this one 11 out of 10. I love this B-side, man. And as, like I said, um, this is probably my favorite B-side so far from Artemis' debut album. Alright, so let's rock now to the next song. We're gonna skip um, Flower Rhythm, Candy Crush, Air, because I've already reacted to music videos. So we're gonna react to Unfair instead, right? Unfair. Um, it's it's spelled as unf slash air, so unfair. Probably has a connection to air. I'm not really sure, man. But they have they have um they have some weird um title for the songs, but it sounds really cool. Unfair, unf air. <laughs> All right, let's react to unfair. The Artemis. Ooh, that instrumental. Hey, baby, on the man, honey, daddy, go it. It a man, and me, it's so unfair. It's so unfair. <laughs> Him lip. So I'm gonna say, it's only you. See, you're my boo. Oh, they're talking about their girlfriend, man. Your boo. <laughs> Can live too. Cherry. No matter how much chips you are, no matter how anxious you are, still favorite one. Cherry's falsetto sounds uh, amazing to me. Uh, why is Artemis so vocally talented, man? Get in my mind right. Get in my mind right now. Hasunas is the most beautiful falsetto, man. Oh. Ooh. Okay, we got we got instrumental. So it's like a prelude, you know, like an uh, outro for the song. Oh, this is a good B side to unfair. Um, yeah, and why are you listen to this stress already, man? Um, yeah, unfair. Uh, speechless. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Really, I, I I don't know what to say, man. 
um, but it was a really good B-side too from Artemis. Uh, the song is so catchy. I love the beat as well and the falsettos. It sounds heavenly. Artemis, oh my god. All the songs so far are incredible, man, this album. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, unfair. Alright, let's react to the next song. Which is Distress. Reminds me of um, Candy Crush a little bit. Sounds like a you know city pop song. A little bit sounds like a little bit. But so far it sounds incredible to man. Ooh, it's a slow driven song, man. So Hijin, oh, sign, don't want to up the sound of Sire ringing again. The chorus is so good, man. Instrumental on the bridge. It's really weird. This sound. This sounds like an R and B, but it's. But the chorus sounds like a city pop song, man. Oh my god, this is a good B side to man. This dress. Alright, so that was uh, Distress by Artemis. And um, I think I think Distress for me is a... I'll probably give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's still a good B-side though. Um, I love the, you know, the slow pace in the song. And it's like a mix of different genres as well. It's like city pop and then in the bridge it's like R&B. And it's really dreamy as well, so yeah. Um, Alright, so we're gonna rock now to the last B-side on this album, which is Butterfly Effect. We're not gonna rock to birth, because I've already rocked to the music video, if you guys wanna see it yet. I'll put it on this, in this description. Alright, so the last song in this album for Artemis. Dull butterfly effect. Alright, is this a reference to Luna's butterfly?
Ooh. Slow motion, let's go for me. Butterfly effect zone. <laughs> Fast motion. I'm falling into the scope. Oh. Ooh. Paper Moon. This kind of sounds. This sounds like a dreamy. So, um, it sounds. It sounds dreamy, man. There's like no drums. I think in the pre-chorus. And then it um, picks up again in the chorus. Yeah. You can hear the build up. I think they're using like reverb on the vocals for this song. I can hear a lot of reverb man on the vocals. That's why it sounds really dreamy. Um, because they added effects on the vocals for Artemis. Ooh, it's a beautiful bridge man. Butterfly effect zone. I'm falling into your kaleidoscope. No high notes for this one, though. But I just love those effects on the vocals, man. For the song. Alright. So that was uh, Artemis Butterfly Effect, and again, I, f I feel like I was, I was, I feel like Artemis um, brought me to space, to the unit, to the galaxy, <laughs> after he listened to that song, because it was just absolutely insane. Um, it's 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 probably the most dreamiest song that I've heard so far in this album because of the effects that they have in the song man but overall it's a good it's a good b-side um, I'll probably give um, butterfly effect a 9 out of 10 out of 10 yeah alright so I'm gonna end the album rush now and um, so I'm just gonna give a quick re rating on all the songs sorry uh, ranking. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, going to do my ranking now for the album. So uh, my favorite B sides is definitely Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, um, and then followed by um, Sparkle. So number two, Sparkle. Number three, um, Unfair. Number four, Distress. Number five, um, Candy Crush. Um, number six, Flower Rhythm. Number seven, Air. Number nine, Birth. And then my least favorite song uh, would be Virtual Angel, even though it's my favorite. Um, it, even though it's a really good title track as well, but I feel like compared to all the B-sides I've heard so far, um, Ritual Angels the least um, favorite for me <laughs> but I still like the song man. I still like the Virtual Angels it's one of the best debut songs for this year in K-pop man but all the B-sides man um, this album is just it just sounds better than Virtual Angel in my opinion yeah it just sounds better than Virtual Angel in my opinion all the B-sides in this album so yeah, um, overall I would give Artemis a 10 out of 10 for the whole album. Um, it's def it's, I think it's probably my favorite um, album so far this year for K-pop. 
And uh, yeah, it's just a really solid debut album for Artemis. And if you guys haven't listened to it yet, um, please listen to it. Support Artemis. This is a really good um, album for them. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed my album reaction to Artemis Doll. Um, the first full album, Divine All Live in Love. And check my other reactions to Artemis as well. I'll put it in this reaction. And don't forget to subscribe like the videos. Follow me on Instagram for the K-pop news. Especially for um, Kepler, Artemis, and other K-pop groups and boy groups. And also my reactions to the other B-sides. Um, to Air, um, Flower Rhythm, Candy Crush, and Birth um, music video. I'll put it in the description. Um, and thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this album reaction to Artemis um, Doll, the first full album. And I will see you guys in the next Artemis reaction.